Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing girls some love. Yes, we have a fragrance haul today. Ah! <laughs> um, anyway, y'all, please make sure you are subscribed, like, comment, all that good stuff. Follow me over on Instagram. And let's get into this fragrance haul. Some of these are in absolute love, a love at first sniff. Some, uh, most were sampled. Some were blind buys, but y'all absolutely pretty much love most of these fragrances today and there's one or a couple of things that i'm like uh, maybe not so much um anyway um let's get into this fragrance haul y'all let me know down in the comments or leave me down in the comments your scent of the day my scent of the day is one that we are going to start off talking about um this was an actual blind buy i purchased this one i always go over to fragrance buy and just know this when you you can search the new additions on fragrance buy or the no, new fragrances um and it will give you some but they also have fragrances that they do not list unless you go and search for them so i decided to search for greedy so i put in brands that i like i shouldn't give y'all the secret but i'm not gonna gatekeep okay i put in um brands that i absolutely love and then i see what's new it doesn't always fall under the category of uh, new fragrances or new added fragrances. Sometimes they're just there. And I think they know that if they put it there, they'll be snatched real quick, as opposed to somebody that is really searching for it or they have their name on the list for this fragrance. Anyway, I went looking because, you know, I'm loving my Greedy collection, Gossip Night, Born to be Free, it's like my number one, and a couple of other ones that I have, Tutu Blanc Extrait. Um, and now, and there's a couple more that I do have coming, uh, but I decided to, yes, they have Greedy fragrances for like half the price over on Fragrance Vibe. Um, literally $100. I just purchased Tutu Blanc, um for 110 dollars y'all on fragrance buy when it's selling everywhere else for like 200 plus dollars um so y'all put your name on the list over there or if you're looking for a fragrance and it just so happen to pop up then yay it's your lucky day and today this day was my lucky day so i decided to snatch didn't know anything about this fragrance um, so I was like, oh, okay, they got a greedy fragrance on here. So it was Rialto, y'all. So I decided to go over there. I put it in my basket, okay? Um, I went over to a fragrance, um, Fragrantica to look up the notes. I went to the site to look up the notes. I went to see if there were some reviews on Fragrantica. Uh, there were like reviews that were like, uh, yay and nay. Uh, but since it, it's summertime and it has the note of mango inside, I wanted it. Mango and Oud. I was like, ooh, Tyfe Rose, Saffron, Bergamot. I said, it sounds amazing, even though there are some people on Fragrantica that didn't really care for it. Um, and then my girl Farida, she saw one on Macari. And I was like, oh, maybe I made a mistake, but I had already purchased it at that point. So anyway, this is Rialto, y'all. And this is actually my scent of the day. Um, you guys know if you watch me, you know I've always wanted a black bottle, but I'll be having two black bottles because I actually went back on my word about something, y'all, only because I saw like the most amazing deal, but I'll let you know once it gets here, okay? <laughs> and most of you guys, if you watch me, then you probably already know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, anyway, uh, this is Rialto. So like I said, I blind bought Rialto and uh y'all i love this fragrance it is really good i was scared i've been on a mango kick lately it's summertime um i was scared of the oodiness i thought it was going to be a little more woody dense like a little more rich more ambery um you do get that ambery scent in here but you get the fresh airiness um let me go ahead and spray it for y'all love the bottle okay so oh look at that that i don't want to keep spraying it because i already have like tons of it on I already sprayed it about 15 times but you get that fresh airiness it does definitely does have the greedy dna but that fresh airiness from the saffron the the really over ripened sweet mango it's not a sweet sweet fragrance but it's an over ripened mango kind of like the mango that's in cruz del sur too a little bit you know there's no greenness though so you get that type rose that's in here that burst of bergamot and saffron in the opening 
Then it gets a little more ambery and mango-y and slightly woody, a little oody. This is a lovable oud, y'all. There is oud. You can smell the oud, but it's definitely a lovable oud. This has less oud than um, Symphonium by Zerjop, and Zerjop to me is a lovable oud. But that oud gives it a little bit more of that sophistication, that luxuriousness, you know, make, makes it a little just mysterious, y'all. This is an amazing fragrance for summer, Rialto. Ooh, y'all, this is not a safe blind buy. Um, if you love Oud, it's a safe blind buy. If you love Mango, it's a safe blind buy. You know, definitely lanes feminine to me, but anybody can wear it, you know. But the little bit of that sweetness, y'all, I'm going to stop talking about it, but it's good. And I am loving, uh, loving Rialto. Like, I, I never heard of it before, um, but... It's beautiful. It almost gives you, it just, it smells silky and, you know, almost a little clean, a slightly shampoo-y as well. Not shampoo-y, but just a little cleanness to it. But it's beautiful. It's rich. It's decadent. It's mysterious. It's sexy. It's all of that. Rialto by the House of Greedy. Man, um, that that's enough about Greedy, okay? But anyway, love the packaging. You know, all of that. It comes in the gold box. My other ones didn't come like this, but this one did. But yeah, I literally got this for like, I think it was like $160, $150 on Fragrance Buy. And I think Rialto retails for about $300 plus, okay? Anyway, y'all, that's my little secret about Fragrance Buy, okay? Um, next, we're going to talk about a fragrance that I've spoken about in a couple of reviews. Y'all know that I already bought this. This is like my hot girl summer fragrance. And this is Fragrance Dubois Eau Juan Intense. Beautiful yellow floral, a vanillic yellow floral uh, with a slight, slight, oh so almost um, disappearing act oud in here, you know. Mm, but love it. Vanillic yellow floral, slightly powdery in the dry down, yet creamy in the opening. Absolutely love this. There's Ilang Ilang and Tiari flower in this fragrance, and I love it, okay? The next one we're going to talk about, um, I actually sampled this fragrance, and I could not stop sniffing. Could not. I wanted to get my hands on it because I love the House of Oud. Um, I have Dates Delight. I've tried so many. I've tried the ginger one. I was like, uh, it's okay. Not for me. The one that comes in that beautiful red bottle. Actually, that would have been cute to take a picture with. Um, but anyway, y'all. So um, the ginger one was nice. But I was like, uh, I would. I don't see my foresee myself wearing that all the time. Um, recently, I there's another one in a. I've tried a couple couple of new ones that came out, and it wasn't for me, but I ordered a sample at Lucky Scent, uh, um, this fragrance, and I ordered Elysium as well. The Elysium, I think it's the O Intense. Love it, needful bottle. And I also ordered Bon Bon Pop, okay? Bon Bon Pop. I could not stop smelling my arm. I just literally poured the whole decant on my arm or the whole bottle, the little one ml bottle that they give you. I poured it on my arm and I was sniffing all day long. Um, I felt like I was craving this fragrance. It's beautiful. That white peach in here, the musk, this is actually my favorite. Um, oh, and I have What About Pop as well. Um, and Glaze, Keep Glaze. This is actually my favorite one. You know, out of all the th three, three, four, three that I have, um, this is my favorite. This is intoxicating. It's a beautiful white creamy peach. There's patchouli in here, but I don't get the patchouli in here, y'all. So it, might, it must be minimal. But I get musky, um, smells like a white musk, white peach, coconutty, creamy, slightly sweetened fuzzy, lush, you know, this is some good stuff, y'all. Anyway, get your nose on it. If you love a musky, peachy, coconutty, sweet, almost candied, powdery scent, then you're going to love this fragrance. It's not too powdery as in like baby powder because y'all know I don't like powdery scents because I'm not even a huge fan of Poudre. Uh, but this is good, y'all. This is real good. Get your nose on it. Um, and this is by the House of Oud. Uh, this is Bon Bon Pop, okay? The next thing that I'm going to talk about, I purchased these oils, you guys. Um, and these oils, you know, I just literally purchased them for the bottles. 
you know, and to take on vacation. And I purchased this one because my daughter's name is Jamila and this is Jamila. So I was like, let me try this. I read a review. They said it was good. Now, out of all these oils, you know, I've been wanting to, somebody else is sending me some oils from another Middle Eastern fragrance house. So there's, we're going to do a review on these oils, okay? Um, they're sending me, they're in gorgeous bottles. They're sending me like, I think five or six beautiful bottles of oils. So we'll do a review on those. But out of all of these, these three here, um i like this one is is super popular um but i like these two more and i like this one more because it's more fruity uh but these two i like more would i repurchase these two again yes would i repurchase this one again no uh because it smells a little there's a little synthetic plasticky scent to me in this one so yeah um it's called uh the, these are by swiss arabian swiss arabian and this is Eulali or Eulali. So Eulali was not, I'm not a huge fan of, but it was okay. But I'm getting a little synthetic, like plasticky scent from here. Um, and this one is Leali Rouge. Leali Rouge was really good. And this is Leali. So Leali was the one that was a little more tropical, I think. Mango smelling. It almost reminded me of Herba Gold. I really liked Leali and Leali Rouge. So try these. And I think they were like $20 on Joma Shop. And Jamila, I like as well. But Jamila is still giving me a little bit of that. It's a little mix of a floral, fruity, slightly synthetic note in here too. So I probably wouldn't purchase Jamila again, um, even though it's my daughter. Okay, she's worth a million bucks. All right. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Um, you guys know. Oh, I also purchased this one from Joma Shop. Shagaf Oud uh, Amar. So people were saying on Fragrantica, I didn't read the notes until after I purchased. I literally purchased this because this bottle was stunning. I saw this on Fumi Mune's um, page. So I went over, I was like, oh, that's a different bottle. Let me, um, I ran to Joma Shop, Preston, Swiss Arabian. Um, this is fruity. People were saying that this smells like Herbal Pure. To me, it doesn't. It gives uh, like a maybe a 20% nuance of that, but it, then it transitions into something really beautiful, fruity, fresh for the summer. Very airy, citruses. It smells like um, there's maybe some red berries in here as well. Uh, but it's a really, it's a nice fragrance, you know? Let me go ahead and spray it. But it's nice, you know? I can't complain for $30, you know? I think it was $39. But you definitely get like a fresh passion fruit. There's a little, like a little nuance of that, you know, Tiziana Terenzi passion fruit, you know? Uh, what is it? Not Deluxe. It's, um, I forgot. But yeah, it's given a slight nuance, but then it transitions to something different. It almost smells like a fruit punch. That's what this smells like. Like a passion fruit and a fruit punch, you know? More like a fruit punch than a passion fruit. Because I do smell some apple in here as well. No, it's not a dupe of Eden uh, Juicy Apple 01. You know? But, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice cheapy and a nice fresh, y'all. And this is Shagaf Oud um, ah, Amar. Ah, Ahmar. I want to say Ahmar. <laughs> anyway, y'all, the next one. Um, you guys know that I already purchased Coco Loco. I sent my top off. Um, I'm switching tops with somebody, hopefully to get my yellow top soon. Love the packaging, stunning packaging. And uh, I do love the fragrance. It's bright, it's juicy, it's coconutty. Um, like I said, you get a little more of that tonka and that jasmine and the dry down. So that lime and that freshness from that coconut and the citruses kind of die down a little bit. And you get a little more, like I said, creaminess, vanilla, jasmine, but you still get that tropical beachy smell um, as well, but not as much as the opening, y'all. It's really nice. It's good. Um, and like, I love the design, you all. Anyway, this was, um, you know, inspired by Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And this is just the box, you guys. I love this color. Like, this color is... I actually just purchased a skirt that's this color. Um, yeah, maybe I'll post it later. So, the next one we're going to talk about is... Y'all already know, I'm not going to talk about Malibu, but I purchased a couple of these. Simone Andrioli's Malibu. This is the 5th anniversary edition. A uh, beautiful lime, boozy, citrusy fragrance. Absolutely love it. Now, let's get to the what I'm supposed to really talk about, okay? Uh, this is 
BDK's Vanilla Leather, y'all, okay? Um, vanilla Leather. Let me go ahead and spray this just to remind myself. I wore it for two days back to back, you know, um, and I did not get any compliments, you know? So, and I sprayed it at least maybe 10 times, you know, each time I did wear it. So, Leather and Vanilla, okay. So, you gotta love iris to love this fragrance, you know, cause you get a lot of iris. I get a lot of iris in the opening. I get iris, I get like a suede vanilla. I mean, I get like an iris and a vanilla smell a little bit, but more of a inside of a leather purse type scent, you know? It's nice. Now, I do get that tuberose note as well. You know, you get it more in the dry down. It's like a buttery tuberose with iris and leather, you know? You get a little bit of freshness too. You get that burst of pink pepper and orange blossom and iris in the opening, which I absolutely get now, but it's not a heavy Oriana Parfums de Marley type, um, Love Don't Be Shy uh, orange blossom. It's light, it's airy, it's mixed with a vanilla. It's very soft. It's The iris is pretty, you know, even though I'm not an iris fan, it is nice. Now this fragrance is nice. You know, if you love the note of iris, it sits closer to my skin. There's a good sillage. The projection is not, not that great, but the sillage on this fragrance is really nice, you guys. So you get more of it in the dry down, you know? But like I said, it gets a little more floral. It gets sweeter. It gets a little more feminine on me, on my skin, and the dry down. Um, do I want a full bottle of this? No, because I just purchased, what is it, Sugar Vanilla by Unui Nomad. I have like a 25 or 30 ml of that. I have BDK. I have about 50, literally, like so many vanillas. Um, so I just think that I'm okay with this one. It's definitely worth testing. Um, I really like it, but am I going to reach for this? No, this would like literally get lost in the sauce um, of my vanilla or of my fragrance collection in general if I had a full bottle. Like I'm not even reaching for Velvet Tonka. Um, the only BDK I find myself reaching for is my love, um, is either Passe Soir, Gris Charnel is number one. You know, I have, have the extra, the EDP, uh, Passe Soir, Rouge smoking. I layer it. I, I found the love layer. I layered with Aaron Terrence Hughes's his raw cherry um, rouge smoking. Oh, y'all, it is so amazing and I love it. Uh, but this one, it's a very nice fragrance, but it's not something that wowed me, you know? So, yeah, and I need things today that are going to wow me um, for this price tag, you all. Um, so, yeah, it's nice. If I found it on sale for, you know, maybe half the price or $100. I may think about purchasing it or maybe not because like it doesn't make sense to buy things for reviews and I'm not going to wear it. I'll just continue to use this. So yeah, I probably, I will not buy a big bottle of this because like I said, it will get lost in the sauce of my collection. Okay. Um, lost in the juice of my collection, but powdery leather, orange blossom, buttery tuberose. It, it almost has the DNA of tuberose imperial but i ended up selling my tuberose imperial because i only wore it twice and i didn't reach for it a beautiful fragrance lovely buttery sweet powdery almost like i said it's giving that dna of the two the beautiful the bottle was beautiful y'all it's giving the dna of tuberose imperial in this fragrance you know I wonder if the same perfumer did tuberose imperial i know the same perfumer did baby cat you know but I think it's Dominique Gropian, but I'm, no, it's not Dominique Gropian. I can't remember you guys. Um, but I'm wondering if who did tuberose Imperial because I'm still getting that, um, like that buttery tuberose, iris seed, leather, powdery orange blossom. You know, it's feminine, y'all. And um, yeah, but unisex as well. Okay. Um, that's enough on vanilla leather. All right. So the next one we're going to talk about is one that I really wanted for my mango review many, many moons ago. I think it was like a couple months ago, but they didn't have it in stock at Lucky Scent. Anyway, I ended up, um, anyway, I ended up buying it. Okay. Um, and I'm just kind of waiting for my juice to mature because I really like it, but I don't absolutely love it right now because I think it has some growing to do y'all. Okay. She's in her adolescent age and she needs to grow up. Okay. To, I mean, she's going through puberty that's what i feel like <laughs> um and this is nila the mary creation and this is bombay bling um emma told me about this fragrance i showed a bunch of mango scents and she was like have you ever smelled 
around by Maybelline. This was a couple months ago. And I was like, no, I went up to Lucky Sand. They didn't have it. He said, um, they were going to be getting it soon. They didn't have samples, like anything. So I kind of just forgot about it. Then I thought about it again. Then I just purchased it when Lucky Scent had it available. So um, when I, I literally drove all the way up to Lucky Scent just to smell this fragrance months ago, y'all. And it wasn't there. And I was disappointed. And then I ended up going to the X the Hilo store. Um, so anyway, Bombay Bling. It's really beautiful. It's a mango-y, you know, white floral. I don't want to spray it because it's 75 ml, cost 260, I think it was. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. A beautiful mango, lightly airy, fresh mango scented white floral fragrance. Um, it's beautiful, but I think because I saw a couple of other people review this fragrance and the juice was dark. So when I sprayed this on, the projection was moderate. Like everything about this fragrance was moderate. Um, and I heard this was like a beast mode fragrance. So maybe my juice is new. Um, this is a new batch and I'm just waiting for it to, you know, become amazing. But you do get that tobacco-y, that smokiness and the dry down. Um, and I do love it. It's elegant. Um, this is very mature. Like this is not a playful fragrance. This is a date night out or like an event type fragrance. Not non-offensive but very beautiful at the same time super luxurious um yeah anyway bombay bling um sample this first and like i said i'm gonna come back and do another review on this because i'm literally waiting for this to like become beast mode like like everybody else and i spray things on my skin it comes in this box here um and it's just housed like in here you guys so Bombay Bling, all right? So the next one we're gonna talk about is one that I love, and it's only $30, you guys. Um, so this is by the house of Amir, and this is Celestial. Um, I saw the, parf the Parfum Diary with this fragrance. I actually had this fragrance also in my basket on Fragrance Buy about six months, it was last year. Um, you guys get warm in here. I had this fragrance in my basket last year uh, because I saw this on Fragrantica. If, you know how they advertise on Fragrantica and this was there, but um, I, I was going to buy it for the bottle because I thought it would, would just be like a cute display. So I saw the, and I put it in my basket. I left it in there, took it out, put it in there again, took it out. So I was like, nah, what's the point? It's $30. It probably doesn't even smell good. But when I went to Lucky Scents, y'all, it's hot. Um, when I went to Lucky Scents, y'all know, if you watch me, you know that Ganymede's X-Straight is on my list. I fell in love when I sprayed Ganymede's X-Straight on my arm a couple months ago. And I said, I have to get that fragrance. It just comes in like a 30 ml and it's like ridiculously expensive. And I'm like, oh, it needs to go on sale. It's on fragrance buy, but I need my $50 coupon. I need free shipping. I need 10%. I need something, y'all. So um, I need 30% on top of the sale. I need some extra stuff. So um, it's warm and I have the air on. Um, anyway, so, and there's nothing to fan with um, <laughs> with my hand. So anyway... I saw this and when I went back to read it, it said that, sorry you guys, it's hot. And I'm not editing either. Um, it said that this was Ganymede Extract um, with a twist. And no, it was Ganymede with a twist, not Ganymede Extract. So when it said Ganymede with a twist, I was like, you know what, let me get it. Let me wear this fragrance. Um, I've never smelled Ganymede. I've only, Ganymede, I think it's pronounced. I've only smelled the Extrait, you guys. And I fell in love with the Extrait because of the Immortel, the Saffron. I think there's Violet in there. And I think it's the same in this fragrance as well. Uh, but of course, the Extrait is going to have a little more oil concentration, more perfume, you know. So, um, yeah. So, I said, let me go ahead and get this. And I absolutely love it. Now, I wore this alone. And then I wore it again, layered with Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, and I I absolutely love it, you guys. So, because this gives me the nuance of Baccarat Rouge 540, the airiness from that saffron. Um, I was like, you know what? When I smelled it, I was like, it kind of reminds me 
of another fragrance that I have, but it also reminds me, and I think I'm gonna do a review on all three of these fragrances, uh, but I'm not gonna tell you which one it is yet. Uh, but it also reminds me of the airiness and the freshness of B540. Y'all, I think I posted it on Instagram and it absolutely works. I love them together. So most likely, and when I sprayed this, it's a beast. It's an X-ray. When I sprayed this, I smelled this over my entire house. I did a reel, sprayed it, I think like five or six times. It was all over my living room, you guys. It smelled absolutely amazing. It's unisex, um, but y'all, get your nose on this. You can't beat it. You know, definitely a win for the price and the scent, and I love it. Amazing for the summer. This is amazing all year long, you guys. Get your nose on it. And this is a Celestial by Amir, and I love the bottle as well, you guys. Anyway, uh, enough of that one. Um, I finally uh, committed to a full bottle of, ooh, y'all. Hot, hot, hot. Finally committed to a, and I can't put on a fan on top of the air conditioning that I have on because it's going to make that noise, y'all. So anyway, let me bask in my hormones, okay? <laughs> um. So anyway, you guys, um, I finally committed. I've had two 10 mLs, I think three actually, um, I've had a dupe of this fragrance by um, Juliana Parfums. I finally committed to a bottle. I have Sultan, but Sultan, I like it. Um, it's on Macari if anybody wants to purchase Sultan. Um, it's just a little too oody for me. I love oud, but Sultan, like maybe if I went to Dubai or I would, I was in some other Middle Eastern country, I would probably wear it more or maybe more in the winter, but I don't wear it. You know, I have other oody vanillic fragrances that I love. But I do love Absolute Aphrodisiac. I reviewed this fragrance like three years ago because I purchased the dupe uh, that Juliana Parfums had. That was like my favorite dupe house. You know, it still is. Um, they're amazing or inspirational fragrance house. Um, I had a sample of that a Absolute Aphrodisiac and then I had Juliana Parfums. And I ended up decluttering and giving away the Juliana Parfums Inspire version of Absolute Aphrodisiac. So anyway, I finally got a full bottle of Absolute Aphrodisiac after buying samples. All the samples that I purchased, it was almost worth half of this full bottle. So I'm like, Marcy, stop playing and just buy the bottle, okay? And then I need to do a review on Initio, the House of Initio. Um, I finally cooled off a little bit. Um, I am going to be doing a review. Two of these fragrances were sent by the company and this is five cents. So I received two and I love the two so much, um, that I purchased the other three y'all. They're so good. I love them. And I'm going to be doing a review on these fragrances. I, I did like a mini review on Instagram when they sent me these two fragrances, uh, five months ago, I think it was. Actually, last year, I think it was. They sent me a couple of these fragrances last year, and then they finally launched in Sephora. So I was waiting for the launch, and I really didn't want to talk about it until, you know, they launched so I could do the review. And then I'm going to review all five of their, um, of their fragrances that I, I love every single one of these. So convenient. Uh, but I love them, y'all. And, they sent me one that I absolutely love and one that I really like they sent me and the other three I, ooh, y'all, they're so good. I love that. I love them all, y'all. Anyway, and this is by the company Five Cents, y'all. So anyway, I think that is it. Um, gone to the world, spend amazing siage, do good, be good, all of that. And uh, like I said, let me know down in the comments what you've hauled lately. Give me your scent of the day, all that good stuff, y'all. All right, bye-bye. Love you all. Mwah.